Many of the violent protests we've been seeing are being blamed on a group of what's called the Black Bloc. What is this bloc? What is their history? Well, David McNally is familiar with the organization. He has seen them in action before. He is a professor of political science at York University, and he's been involved in some protests where he has seen them. And uh, David McNally joins me now. So who is the Black Bloc? Well, to begin with, Carol, they're not any one organization. They're actually a very loose collection of individuals and groups. They put out a call at the time of a demonstration saying, let's form a black bloc contingent for this particular protest, rally, and so on. And frankly, the tactics are quite variable. They do not always involve the sorts of scenes that you've just been showing your viewers. There are times when, in fact, on Friday's anti-poverty march, uh, at one point I found myself fairly near a black bloc contingent, and they respected the organizers call for a non-violent, loud-spirited protest against poverty. So uh, you have to recognize that they're not any one thing. Mm -hmm. And they are, these different groups and individuals will choose different tactics at different times. But when that call goes out, does everybody who, say, who is answering that call in the affirmative understand that this is as far as they may go? I think they understand that there may be some fairly sharp confrontations with police. I don't know much beyond that, but I think they understand that they will be, by their appearance, on the police radar as soon as they arrive, and that they are perhaps more inclined than others to challenge police authority while they're demonstrating. Are they straight on anarchists? Well, I think many of them would call themselves anarchists, but we need to be clear, many anarchists would not participate in a black bloc. What is an anarchist? Well, generally speaking, anarchists say they're opposed to government and the state, and they're opposed to all authority and exploitation. They want a classless society and a society without government and the state. They believe in grassroots communities regulating and organizing themselves. So some anarchists then say this means we ought to challenge all government and police authority wherever we see it and others will think more strategic terms about the kind of grassroots activism, whether it's anti-poverty or anti-war, ecological and so on that they participate in. So many would call themselves anarchists but probably most anarchists would not participate in black blocs. All right. What should be done about groups like this? If anything, I mean, do they have a positive role? Can they have a positive role in society? Well, certainly the anarchist groups can, because many of them do very credible organizing, as I say, against poverty, uh, against racism, against war, and so on, day in and day out in communities without gathering any headlines. Mm -hmm. So for sure, they do. Uh, moreover, it has to be said that there are times when black bloc type individuals participate absolutely along the lines that organizers would like in nonviolent protests, and they ought to be allowed to, to do uh, all of that. One of the things which I'm concerned about is that we don't at this point know how strong the police presence was inside the Black Bloc yesterday. We do know that they have regularly infiltrated those groups. We know from Montebello in 2007 that, in fact, the unions confronted and challenged three so-called black bloc protesters who turned out to be undercover police. They all had rocks in their hands and so on. So we also have to be careful. We're going to find out over the coming days and weeks just who did what. Oh, so you think there, there's a question about this, the police knew they were coming. Maybe they had people on the inside with this oh, particular Oh, I don't think group. there's any doubt about that. They've already acknowledged that they infiltrated the largest anarchist network in southern Ontario. And we know from previous protests that it's pretty easy to put on black clothes, yeah. go undercover and get inside the crowd. Right. And in some cases, we know that they've trashed stuff. Uh, doing their undercover work. So that's why I'm saying we need to be careful to find out just who did what, because there may be a more complicated story about also what law enforcement was up to during those protests. All right. Uh, David McNally, that's all the time we have. Thank you for giving us something else to think about and ask welcome. about in the days ahead. You're most welcome, Carol. Okay.